to increasing withheld prices. Indicator crash is coming. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee and let's have a bit of fun with this one. Look at you know, a little bit of a Twitter adventure. Now, I'm not that big on Twitter, but I know a lot of people in the, the property sector are and finance are and a lot of people are. I just never really got into it. So I'm starting to, I'm starting to make an effort. Hashtag uh, follow Heiser Says on Twitter, I guess is that that's how you do it. But a viewer sent me sent me this. What he'd asked, he'd asked Martin North you know, in reply to one of Martin's latest videos. Why are all house prices now being withheld? We can see here, he's, you know, just grabbed a screenshot, screenshot, probably up much too early or much too late. With not enough battery power, mate, doing, doing bad. Price withheld, price withheld, price withheld, price withheld. Now, in response to that, journalist Tarek Brook, who goes by the name of Avid Commentator on Twitter, or the handle, shared this graph. Sydney auctions on the main, price withheld percentage, rolling four-week average. And he's saying, the increase in the number of auctions with prices withheld correlates with falling prices, with prices being withheld, leading CoreLogic's index down by approximately six to nine weeks. So he's arguing that it's a leading indicator. That's the same thing that Martin here responded. Simply hiding the truth, delaying the reporting until settlement data flows to the registrar's delays of months. Now, Martin's suggesting it's a delay, of, well, delaying the data reported for months. And Tarek, or avid commentator, is suggesting that it is, well, there's evidence that it is a leading indicator. Now, we've seen something similar to this before. If we jump over here to the Heiser Says website and look at that beautiful new banner there. <laughs> Let me know what you think, guys. I'm trying to up the graphics arts game on the channel. You can see here there's recent articles and fake auction clearance rates exposed. Now, this was thanks to data mining done by the team at Fresh Canvas. We could see, we could see how the auction clearance rates weren't accurate. There was a bias to a more positive result. Properties would that would be passed in or would, they'd get no data from, they're just considered to be uh, similar to trend to all the others. And then those same properties would appear a few days later for sale, a normal sale. They wouldn't update their data. So there's quite a discrepancy there. Rates could be, you know, could go anywhere between here. The advertised rate was 74%. The worst case scenario could be 60% clearance rate. The upper could be 79 so that really isn't in the middle, is it? The advertised rate. And sure, they went and updated it, but they had access to all the data. The addresses don't change for property. So have a look at that article if you hadn't before, because it shows, well, it shows one of the challenges that, that we're all facing in this, well, in this eternal quest to ask and determine if property is going to go up or it's going to go down. It's an information battle in many regards and the average punter doesn't have access to as much information although now people can data mine and gather it just getting that information out to people it's a challenge in itself you know we don't have uh, martin north running a uh what you know the block version you know don't buy this block don't buy this block <laughs> perhaps we do so i thought i thought we'd have a bit of fun i'll have a shot of coffee and we'll play how many and what happens when you uh, look at unlisted reported prices? So withheld prices. One sec. It's a good morning coffee. So let's jump over to Domain. Now, I've brought up Sydney here, and I've just looked at all of these sold properties. Okay, and you can see here we have 119,545 sold properties just within this area. It's showing me, what, 200 on the map? And I've got four property types. Houses, apartments, townhouses, and land. So you think, oh, well, that's a whole heap, a lot of property sold in Sydney. And, you know, Sydney's the center of the universe, according to everyone who lives in Sydney. And if we look at the historic data, I mean, 
Sydney's shot up. I should do one for Melbourne as well. We may look at Melbourne after. But Sydney's climbed up. All all major cities in Australia, property prices have shot up. And Sydney's, Sydney is probably one of the well, least affordable ones that we have here. If we jump here, we can see the CoreLogic house values. Sydney, the median price from this data, 31st of July this year, 866000 then you've got Melbourne at 678. Melbourne, 678, that, that is a much more, even that's more reasonable. I like I like good old Brisbane at 502. But then again, for me, I think the Darwin price is nice. 384 grand for a house. That that Considering how much it costs to build these things, that seems like a reasonable mortgage that someone could have. You could, you could manage that on one income quite easily, you know, like back in the day. So what we'll do is we'll click here on Filter. And just have a look at this number here. And we can scroll down the bottom. There's all these different filters you can do. I mean, everyone knows domain. It's, it's, I know, I know what we're doing when you just, you know, you want to look at property, you're helping their search results so they can write articles saying search results are up. And when you just bought at home, but we can see here, exclude prices withheld. So let's uncheck this box and we'll update this research, uh, search result. And remember 119 up there, 119,000. Boom. 140,000, so 21,000 properties. And I know this is just a bit of fun, but I thought you know, it's interesting to see, and graphically it represents it quite well, the big chunk of properties with prices withheld. Now, why is this happening? Is it Could it be because simply people want their privacy respected? They don't want the prices out. Now, I question that. The number of times we see articles where people are bragging about buying a property where they're featured on domain, a young couple who are going out there and saying, oh, sure, we paid $200,000 above reserve, but you've got to get into property, guys, because property always goes up. So I challenge that, that, that people want their privacy respected. Sure, there's some, but not now. Not in the, the FOMO world, not in the social media world. Some people don't even care about their privacy like they did in the past. I mean, if we can accept that that argument, perhaps there's another reason. So let's go back to the filter and let's just look at look at houses. We'll look at houses and we'll we'll exclude the prices withheld, and we'll see the results. We've got forty eight thousand with some loose change just in this area. We'll click on here, okay, and we'll now include the prices withheld. Remember, we had forty eight thousand and change. Now we're at 54,000. So 16,000 difference for houses. 16,000 of the sold houses in this area had prices withheld. Let's do the same thing for apartments. And here they are. Okay, apartments. We'll search results. Okay, we've got 68,000 apartments sold in this area in Sydney with prices withheld. And this is why we've got people who are... Who are um, like a, a viewer wrote in and was making the argument, oh, people won't sell their houses, they won't do this, they won't do that, you know. And I agree, in some ways, people will do whatever they can to keep their home. But a home is different to an investment. Investors are a little bit more callous, a little bit more heartless, a little bit more entrepreneurial, and sometimes they'll just cut their losses, sometimes they'll get rid of something that's bleeding them money. And that's perfectly reasonable. And I think apartments would fall into that category a little bit more. So what we'll do is we'll go down here, and we'll turn on excluded prices. Remember, we're at 68,000. 82,000. 82,000. So what's that? 14,000? 68? Yeah, 14,000 prices withheld. And if we bring up one of my favorite maps that I love showing everyone, I love showing everyone unit prices or unit price growth. You can see it's not consistent. You can see it's not consistent here. You know, the goat cheese cafe line they're all doing green they had good price growth where the people at the red rooster line out the west their price growth hasn't been as good let's keep playing let's keep playing guys it's a you know, fun game let's look at townhouses let's look at townhouses 33,000 oh sorry 33,000 3,385 townhouses this is well this is where we are and now we will exclude prices withheld and there you have 600, give or take. We'll do finish up with land. Prices withheld. I, I'll be interested to see how much land we actually have here for sale. So 148 properties have sold. 148 properties have sold for land. Getting land in Sydney, that, that's 
bit of a luxury now in the 21st century. We'll go down here. Exclude prices withheld. There you go. 237. And I mean, imagine that's land that's going to be much higher, much higher sales. And we can do the same thing. We can do the same thing. Oh, we could do the whole... Let's see if we'll, we'll uh, zoom out. And uh, you know what? Let's just do all of Australia. All of Australia. And let's see how many we get here for houses. Why not? Why not? If I break, break the server. Completely scientifically accurate. So we're looking at 1.8 million houses sold. And let me know in the comments. I'll have a shot of coffee. Let me know in the comments how many you think are going to be... It'll jump up to when we do prices withheld. So we'll play a little game here, guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Exclude prices withheld. We were at 1.8. Come on. Whoa. Zero houses <laughs> sold. What? Oh, do I have too much? Do I have too much? Come on, come on. Is it 2.1? I think it's going up to 2.1. Yeah, two, well, let's say 2.1. I'm I'm reaching the limit of search results for domain. So I broke domain. <laughs> I broke domain. I know you're all sad. I know you're all sad. But there you have it, everyone. A little bit of fun and just demonstrating the fact that there is a, well, a significant difference in accessibility information. The people who are writing these articles the people who are telling you to jump in, some of them who are working for these organizations, have access to information that we don't have. Abbott Commentator, Martin North, well, they're concerned. Is it done intentionally? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't yet, jump to my blog and have a look at the fake auction clearance rates because you can download the data, download the Excel files. You can see it all there yourself. So it's not just, well, prices withheld. It's also just the auction clearance rates that's all over the media. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you're a fan of the channel and want to support us, there are a few ways you can. You can join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or KuCoin. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, have a great day, and I will see you all in the next episode.